This is 5-Minute Power Platform, where I'll be doing short experiments in Dynamics, Flow, Power Apps, and more. Today we're going to update Dynamics 365 contacts from JSON files using Azure Logic Apps. To kind of highlight how this will look, we're going to have some JSON files that we're going to want to update contacts in Dynamics 365. So what we'll do is we'll drop those JSON files in OneDrive, and then create an Azure Logic App, which is a lot like Flow, it's the basis of Flow, and those Azure Logic apps will create a new contact in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So let's get started. We're going to start here in Azure Logic Apps. Azure Logic Apps looks a lot like Flow, and it's really the basis of what Flow does. Now everything I'm doing here you could do in Flow, I just thought this would be a good chance to play around with Logic Apps. So let's start by adding our OneDrive connection. We'll come up here and search for OneDrive add the OneDrive connector, and we want to trigger when a new file is created. Let's give it an interval of, say, 15 seconds. We can see this thing run while we're demoing. And we'll say we're going to put it in this demo directory. There we go. Now let's add a new action. We're going to add an action that will parse through the JSON file that is going to pick up from our OneDrive directory. So I'll search for parse J for JSON, and this will give us the data operation that will parse it. So now it's asking for a sample JSON file so it knows what to expect. I've created this simple JSON format that has a contact, a first name, and a last name. And I've created a bunch of them. So I'm going to feed this, that first JSON, and it's going to infer a schema from that, which that makes that pretty easy. And then we're going to feed that schema the file content so that it can start going to work on it. Let's add another action then for Dynamics to work on that data. So we'll connect to our Dynamics 365 instance, and we're going to create a new record. We're going to create a contact record. So let's choose our organization. And we'll choose our entity name. That's a long list of entities. And we might be better off typing it. So we'll type in contacts. There it is. And now it's going to give us all the fields of the contact, and we can map those to the first name and last name from our JSON. So we'll start that mapping here. And now we're ready to try it out. So let's save this. And let's let it run, and it should start listening for our files. So let's switch over to OneDrive, and we can add in our JSON files and test out our Logic App. So I've got files for person A with first name, first day, and last name, last day. And for person B, first B, last B, and so on. So in OneDrive, we'll upload person A. So now that it's uploaded, we can flip over to our Logic app and see that it started triggering. And we've got uh, green check marks next to everything, so that means everything worked. So we'll switch over to Dynamics, and let's see what we've got here. There's first day, last day, so it created our contact record based upon the JSON file it found in OneDrive. So now let's start adding some more contacts and watch this thing really work. So we've got, uh, we've got a contacts A through L in here, so let's add in the ones that I haven't yet added in. So B through F, we'll give it a good start. Those will upload to OneDrive. And then we should see those in a few seconds, upload into Dynamics. Here they start coming. Add in the rest of our files, just to finish it off. And now we've got uh, a whole bunch of contacts added in by importing their JSON files in there. This is supposed to be a simple, a simple way of how to, one way to potentially integrate an external system or something that can give you JSON data into Dynamics and to set it up in a few minutes.